Hi dear friends, what if the moon didn't exist? James Webb Telescope will start to transmit new photos and data from space in about five months. Maybe there will be changes in the information I'll give you now. Remember that things we learn through science are not absolute. New information and developments can nullify the old nations. Just as the theory of the Big Bang and the idea that the universe was formed later on is accepted widely in the world of science, it also reflects the common perspectives of the three big religions. By the way, did you know that NASA is working together with 24 religious experts from different religions to answer questions about extraterrestrial life and the formation of the universe? I genuinely celebrate NASA's this approach as it also means that they value a religious point of view. Dear friends, let's try to understand our Earth's and Moon's positions and information in space according to the latest scientific data. We will see together which of our knowledge and observations will be confirmed and which ones will be changed. The Milky Way exists within a group of galaxies. This group named the local group contains 30 galaxies of different sizes. The Milky Way, which is a part of this group, contains about 250 billion stars. The Sun that we revolve around is just one of these stars. The Sun and the planets that orbit around it are named the solar system and our Earth and the Moon are part of this system. Friends, we shouldn't forget about the Moon while we're trying to understand the Earth. Like I say, from time to time because we look at our surroundings from a monotonous perspective, we fail to see the wondrous miracles of creation that resides within it. Imagining losing something is an important way of understanding something's real value. I will use this method to understand the importance of the moon. Moon has been an inspiration for many poets and authors and also the subject of many songs, poems and stories and probably will continue to be. I'm not going to sing you songs under the moonlight, but I would recommend you to read poems or sing songs while watching the moonlight reflecting over the sea. I'm going to talk about something else, however. What wouldn't exist in the moon didn't exist and what would change? While thinking about these questions, I wonder, oh moon, in a chain of interesting events, what a magnificent design you have. It's believed that the Earth formed about 4.56 billion years ago and it's thought that the Moon has formed only about 30 million years later. According to this speculation, the Earth was an ocean of magma. Astronomers think that an object similar in size to Mars has collided with Earth at an angle. With this collision, a huge mass separates from the layer of magma and starts orbiting Earth and forms the Moon. As you know, even though the events that occur in the universe at first sight seem like coincidences, when we look at the consequences and effects, we see that they are a part of a chain of formation that completes the process of creation. When the moon first formed, according to speculations, it's thought that it was fairly close to the Earth, about 25,000 kilometers away. Today, however, it's 384,400 kilometers away. If it was as close to the Earth as it was when it was first formed, we will see it about 20 times larger. Friends, when we think about it, if there was life at the time and we were alive, we will see beautiful scenes. One of the effects of the Moon's formation is about the Earth's surface temperature. When the Moon was that close to the Earth, it formed a lot of gravitational pull. And according to speculations, the Moon was really hot then it kept the Earth's surface hot. However, as the Moon got farther, its effect got smaller. By the way, the Moon is still getting farther at a rate of 3.8 cm per year. On the other hand, it's known that the Moon slows down Earth's rotation. The force that the Moon exerts over the Earth has slowed down our planet. In about 500,000 years, in the Earth has slowed down from 400 rotations per year to 365 rotations per year. So if the Moon didn't exist, a very important factor that slows down our planet will go missing. If our dear Moon didn't exist, life on Earth may have not been possible due to the speed of our planet's rotation. For example, if the Earth rotated that fast, there will be a lot of turbulence and that will cause never-ending strong winds. Biologically, 
if the moon had gone missing, that will also significantly affect many beings because a lot of mammals' eyes are designed sensitive to the moonlight. And a lot of these mammals will probably die because of it. Also, because of the lack of moonlight, nights will be absolute darkness and most of our perceptions a day and night will be destroyed. This will affect humans negatively. Another very important design feature thing is, Earth rotates at an angle of 23 degrees and the moon preserves it. If the moon will go missing in time, the Earth will lose this angle and the Earth will start to wobble, so to speak. Mars, for example, doesn't have this kind of stabilizer, so its axis changes between 15 and 35 degrees. This leads to rapid change in Mars climate and seasons and negatively affects the living conditions on the planet. Scientists believe that the moon's position and pull are significant factors in the formation of the Earth's 23 degree axis. The four seasons regular formation depends on this angle and the sun rays hitting the Earth at that angle. As a consequence of Earth's axis and the moon, we humans and all living things have been gifted with wonderful seasons. I'm saying goodbye to you while thinking about the marvels of winter, spring, summer and fall. Please subscribe to our channel and goodbye.